Julian Assange. Oh, okay. Right now, we have to know the truth. There's no democracy without freedom of the press. Because the press is the only thing that can hold government accountable. And there's no freedom of the press as long as Assange is being prosecuted. We are, you know, inside the belly of the beast, the empire, and its violence. When you don't have freedom of the press and no one's telling the truth, it weaponizes your capacity to feel, to have compassion and empathy, because if you don't have the full story, and if your heart is being manipulated with lies, then we're all lost. How can we have peace in the world if we're just drowning in lies? So I think people in the world understand that, know the value of it, know this is a critical moment. They understand how critical this moment is. That you could have a publisher publish the truth and be tortured. That's a moment of pivot that we should all be very seriously looking at and standing up against. It was Julian himself who said that if wars can be started by lies, then peace can be started by truth. And I think that's been a big part of his motivation, is to create a world that's peaceful, where countries aren't going around killing thousands of people. Most every war that the U.S. has been involved in has been the result of lies. We've been lied into war. We cannot allow freedom of the press to be eroded. Protesting Julian Assange's treatment. He published the truth, and so he's been in solitary confinement for four years, and it's an abomination and it's a violation of freedom of the press. And we ain't got freedom of the press, we don't have democracy. 